Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone had a great Memorial Day weekend. Today I'm switching things up a little bit and I'm going to start working on George's Telecaster to try to lighten it up a little bit so it's not so heavy for him. The zebra striped uh, kick guitar is basically curing still and uh, I'll be working on that shortly too. So I'm going to kind of be bouncing back and forth between two, two projects right now. Uh, since the zebra stripe is pretty close to being done uh, I want to get started on George's Telecaster and uh, show you how I'm going to work on that. Meanwhile, uh, check out the About on my page uh, for YouTube. I end up changing things up a little bit on that and putting some contact information on there as well, along with uh, a couple of links for uh, Jeff in order to get a hold of him for Diamond Cut Graphics in case you're interested or looking for any type of a design or something he already has pre-made uh, for a logo for your guitar or resto in case you're doing a restoration. Um, and let's see, other than that, uh, that's about it. So this is what I'm starting off with as far as George's guitar. So with the hardware in place, I ended up masking off the areas of where I want to do my routing at. Now the masking tape is going to do two things. It's going to help locate the areas where I'm going to do my routing and also help with uh, any chip out with the finish. Hopefully everything works out well. I got two brand new bits that I'm going to be using that are bearing bits and uh, I will be making a template for this as well. So first picture here, I ended up uh, not quite liking you know where the locations of the circles would be uh the upper right hand one was pretty good but the two on the left side uh i didn't like the way they're placed didn't look quite centered enough so i ended up uh taking off all the hardware and basically uh moving the circles on the left side up a little bit to center the one where the armrest would be and to center the bottom one where the bridge is going to be. So here I have the larger ring and I'm using it as a template to cut out the template for routing. The only problem was is that I could not find any MDF board at the store at all. All I could pick up was particle board so I had some issues with the particle board itself. So I used double face tape to adhere the template to the body of the guitar and it worked out pretty good. So I'm using a bearing routing bit and as you can see I removed the template. I already made my first pass with the template so now I don't need it no more. That bearing will ride the inside of the hole, the opening of it, uh, as I remove the remainder part of the material that I need to remove to thin out this thing as much as possible. So the body of the guitar is one and three quarters. So when I ended up uh, routing this thing out, it's like, okay, well, how much material can I leave inside of here? By the time I got done with the routing, I routed out an inch and a half of wood. A lot of wood got taken out. All right, so the holes are cut out. A lot of wood material has been removed and the holes didn't come out exactly the way that I wanted them to as far as the diameter of them. Using a uh, particle board is not a really good idea for a template with a bearing router bit. Um, it kind of puts pressure on the particle board and indents a little bit. So. In order to fix the edges around the holes before I put the chrome rings inside there, I came up with this idea here. So what this is, is fender welt. And basically for antique vehicles, anywhere between uh, 1920s and 1930s, maybe 1940s, I'm not too sure. They would use this between the fender and the body of the vehicle and it would help from the body uh, riding out or the fenders riding out where they're mounted. It helped with squeaking of the body as it twists. Um, kind of like a gasket, you would say. 
and it's basically a well nowadays it's a vinyl material uh years ago i believe they made it out of leather but nowadays it's a vinyl material you can get it in any length any thickness uh you can cut it down to whatever you need and you know place it wherever you want so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to use it to hide some of the imperfections in the cutout the opening for the rings so this will go around the opening and then the ring would be inserted inside of it and this would be on the edge of the outside edge of the ring uh giving it a nice little decorative touch and hiding any imperfections so right now george's guitar is going to be on hold uh everything came out pretty much the way i wanted exception of the the diameter of the hole itself for each ring uh, you know that's kind of my fault for not using the right materials for the job with the router and the bearing bit so yeah anyways I have a little bit of a thing coming up next that I don't know if any of you guys noticed that the contest for the birthday giveaway is now closed so right now I'm going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway and remember, there's two guitars that I get to choose which one I'm sending you. So don't be upset if you didn't get the one that you wanted. But So good luck to everybody, and uh, only one person can win. So here we go.